Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to introduce the organic molecules. We're going to talk about their structures and their functions in your body. So before we get into the different categories of organic molecules, we need to talk about some basic chemistry concepts. The first is, what are elements? Elements are types of atoms. Atoms make up all matter. And so an atom is made of a nucleus in the center that contains protons and neutrons and electrons that buzz all around the nucleus. This image is the periodic table of elements. These are all of the different elements that are found on Earth and in the universe that we know of. So these are all of the different atoms that can be used to build molecules. Molecules are made of two or more atoms and are held together by chemical bonds. So this is an, a model of a molecule, a water molecule, actually. These red and blue spheres represent atoms, and they are held together by these rods, which represent a chemical bond. So the atoms are bonded together, and this forms a molecule. If a molecule contains the two elements, carbon and hydrogen, it is said to be organic. So there's a whole discipline in chemistry called organic chemistry, and that focuses on molecules containing carbon and hydrogen. So in the Ed Puzzle pop-up window, I want you to tell me if the following molecules are organic. First, we have a water molecule. It's made with two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. There are several water molecules here. So is water organic? Next, we have some molecules called hydrocarbons. Do you think these are organic? And finally, we have some molecules um, called pyrimidines and purines. Do you think these are organic? So in bio, we care about six of those elements in that periodic table of elements. Carbon and hydrogen, because they're what makes molecules organic. Nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. If you remember chin-ups, you'll remember the six elements that are important to living things. So how are organic molecules organized? Organic molecules are typically built from many smaller molecules called monomers. Mono means one. Mer is molecule, so monomer is one molecule. Monomers are small thing, smaller building blocks of organic molecules. And I like to make the analogy that these are like Legos. So these are small blocks that you can bond together to build much bigger structures. These monomers, these individual building block molecules, can be put together in order to form polymers. Poly means many, mers molecule, so polymers are made of many monomers bonded together. Polymers are also known as macromolecules. Macro means big. These are huge molecules that can be made of hundreds of different monomers. So this Lego tower is like a polymer because it is made of many of those individual Lego building block monomers. So what does our body do with organic molecules? Organic molecules are found in our food. Carbs, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, these are big polymer molecules made of many of these smaller building blocks. 
our digestive system breaks down the polymers into many monomers. So you can imagine knocking down this giant Lego tower. And so it breaks apart into all the individual Lego building blocks. And then your body takes these monomers and they use some of them for energy, but the rest are rebuilt in new ways to form your organic molecule polymers to build your body. How are organic molecules built? The chemical reaction that is sticking two monomers together in order to build a polymer is known as dehydration synthesis. The word dehydrate means to lose water and synthesis means to make. So a water molecule is removed as two monomers are strung together. So for example, we have monomer one and monomer two. We have some oxygen and hydrogen atoms sticking out of those monomers. We take two H's and one oxygen from both monomers in order to make water. So we remove two hydrogens and one oxygen and make a water molecule. And what that does is going to form a bond, a connection between those two monomers to start to build a polymer. If we want to break down a polymer into many monomers, we do the opposite. We add a water molecule. So digestion, another way to think of the digestion chemical reaction is hydrolysis. Hydro means water and lysis means to split. So a water molecule is added to split apart two monomers in a polymer. So we have here, we have our two monomers that are joined together by a bond. We add a water molecule. And once that water molecule is added, those two monomers become unbonded. They become individual monomers again.